Oh my God. I had to make this video on the spot. And I love these impulsive, random videos. This is when Jay White is at his best. Look at his fucking smile. About a month and a half ago, maybe two months ago, I love that show, the Steve Walco show. Now, if you know anything about Facebook, I think there's like an algorithm and if it sees that you watch certain stuff, more than likely I press the like button as well. I get like notifications when the Steve Walco show posts new previews. And I was watching one video and basically a lot of the Steve Walco show, a lot of it's to do with like child molestation when they do lie detector and they reveal certain stuff and people, men cheating and women cheating and stuff like that. But anyway, there was one guy on it he was accused of, um, you know, trying to sexually assault a woman and he had a previous conviction of being uh, a sex offender. Now, I can't remember if it was towards another woman or a child or some craziness like that. Anyway, Steve Walkholz has said to the brother of the man who was being accused of sexually assaulting a woman, why would you let this man into your house if you knew that he was on the sex offenders register. And I don't know why this thought occurred to me, but I thought to myself, if I had a close, tight brethren, yeah? The man, and yeah, me and him is, yeah? Imagine, cause you know like you hear about all them, all them stories in like in the media where the footballer um, sleeps with an underage girl, somehow a 15 year old girl snuck into a club and she's gone on with a footballer, he's slept with her and it turns out she's 15 and he gets arrested or whatever and he gets done for rape. I was thinking, imagine that happened to one of my brethren. Imagine, like if you're a guy watching this right now, put yourself in this position right now. And if you're a female watching this, maybe the equivalent would be like your brother. If your guy watches right now, imagine your best friend, or if you're female, your brother, they went out, now they're a decent person. You know they ain't no nasty person. They don't take advantage of people. They're a decent person, whatever. They went out and they met a girl in the club. The girl was, you know, 15, but she got into a club, you know, supposed to be people who were above the age, or at least the age of 18. He went home with her that night, I've never asked a girl for ID or nothing like that, you know, because all the girls that I deal with, they're always fucking older than me anyway, most of them. Anyway, I wouldn't expect most normal people to ask any girls for ID because it's, it's something that you should do, but we don't, innit? Mm -hmm. Imagine he slept with the girl and it turns out she was underage and he got done for rape. Would you drop that person out? Now, it's easy to say no. Yeah, no, 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 man, was, they're still my brethren, or, you know, they're still, obviously they're always going to be your brother, but are you still going to have the same love for that person, knowing that they're, a, they're on the sex offenders register? Yeah, just think about that, imagine your tight brethren, imagine your friend that you call every, yeah, you go link the man, they're your brethren, or your close cousin. Imagine, he's now on the sex offenders register. Just picture that. Because trust me, it's easy to say, yeah, no, that's my still my brethren, isn't it? But I actually put myself in that scenario, not to be the sex offender, but to have a friend who has been convicted of, you know, sex with an underage female, and now they're a sex offender. And I thought, boy, I don't know. Boy, I don't know, mm -mm. I don't know, maybe they might have to go, you know, God forbid I was ever in that situation, but my friend might have to go, I know, like, yeah, you know, how can I write off, you know, 10 years or whatever, you know, um, them being my friend or whatever, innit, but, it would be silly, imagine I had a daughter, imagine I had a child, are you really gonna allow, because this is the way you have to think about it, you know, are you really gonna allow, a sex offender in your house with your your daughter around your small child doesn't even matter if the child's a girl it could be a boy child or are you gonna really allow a sex offender around your your missus now that original story in the steve walco show 
there was a man, his brother was convicted of being a sex offender. The guy's missus was in the bedroom or whatever and she was half drunk and she must have screamed for help or something dumb like that. And anyway, he was in the room and apparently she said that he was touching her, trying to shake her or something like that. Anyway, she accused him of being, um, trying to sexually assault her or whatever. And, um, the guy was proven innocent via the um, lie detector results. So he went into the room, for whatever reason, she was screaming or something stupid like that. She thought he was trying to sexually assault her. And she obviously she presumed that he was because obviously he's a known sex offender, whatever. And, uh, Steve Walker said, well, if you know your brother's a sex offender, why are you allowing him into your house? And I said, you know, that's a fucking good point. And that's what actually made me think of that scenario. You know, if someone's your friend, they're your friend all the way. If you had a friend, would you allow them to come to your house if they are a convicted sex offender? Now, what brought on this video, although I wanted to make this video a while back, I was just talking to Nadia about two minutes ago, and she was asking me about um, something about, you know, if, if you knew a girl that was raped by someone you know, would you call the police or something, something like that? And I was thinking to myself, if I had a friend, right? If I had a friend that killed someone, I don't know what I would do. But if I had a friend who raped a girl, oh, forget about me dropping him out. Yeah, I'm snitching straight. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a shit. If I had a friend that killed someone, I don't fucking know. Because if they kill someone, it might be... I'm not saying it's going to be a good reason for someone to kill someone, but I don't even want to talk about that situation. But if I had a friend who raped a girl, oh, I'm snitching straight. I will sit as an arrest you, myself, personally. Snitch on your ass. I, I just don't get how a man could do that to a woman. Definitely snitch on a man. Definitely, there's, there's, there, like, you know, someone might, you know, stab someone's mom or something and they kill them. There might be a, I'm not saying it's a good reason for someone to kill someone, but there might be a reason why someone acted out in that way in anger. But there's just no excuse to rape a woman. You are a fucking predator. Yeah, it was premeditated. So in that situation, if I ever had a homeboy or something like that and you raped a girl, arm oh, snitching on you. Snatching on you. I'll arrest you myself. There's no way I will be friends with someone who was a fucking rapist. No way. Anyway, stay wise.